So we are here today to share with you another focus support topic, and this time it's Canvas Analytics for Teachers. We want to show you a few ways that you can access some reports to follow up on your student performance and their progress and activity within your Canvas courses. Our bit.ly for today is bit.ly forward slash Canvas Analytics 21. Please remember to capitalize the C in Canvas and the A in Analytics because Bitly's are case sensitive. If you wonder who's talking, my name is Melissa Dubbs and I am one third of our elementary team here in ETS. And I have a co-presenter here with me. And hello, I'm Tony Maxwell. and I am one third of the secondary team. So if you're wondering who is my ETS contact point, you can click on this link and you can find it, um, find out who is assigned to your school. We're all assigned to different schools. You can also go to the Oklahoma City homepage and search under departments for educational technology services. And you will also find a link to this document. All right, Tony, you wanna to explain a little bit about new analytics for us? Yeah, so New Analytics is an interactive tool that helps you better track student performance and activity within the course. So this is what your students are doing. You can see where they've, uh, turned in things you can see a, a lot of different uh, metrics for what the students have done you can learn which have viewed pages and resources participate in assignments and which students may need a little more encouragement you can kind of see who's not doing anything too and that's really helpful so the first link over here is how to get to new analytics and this is kind of a uh there's no video on this page this is just uh screenshots and it kind of tells you once you get into a course it should be on your uh, right hand side and you'll click on that and you'll start to see uh, graphs and things of that nature that kind of tell you what the students have been up to. And those are all from a, a Canvas official pages. And the second one is how to view an individual student in New Analytics. Um, you can see the whole class easily, but how do you get to an individual student? And this particular page here goes through all that. If you want access to all of these uh, resources, we've got the bit.ly on the first page. So when you first, uh, when you go to rewatch, you will be able to type in that bit.ly and you'll have access to our uh, slides deck here. Yeah, Tony, and when since this is being pre-recorded, we are going to be involved in a online conference tomorrow, but we will also, when we post it to Workplace, the bit.ly and access to the slide deck will be available on Workplace for you. We'll make sure we post that. So right now we're gonna watch um, a short video. It's relatively short, about five minutes about Canvas analytics for teachers. In this video, you will learn how to use New Analytics. To access New Analytics, click the New Analytics button on the course homepage. You can also access New Analytics from course navigation. New Analytics provides two main viewing options for course analytics, weekly online activity and course grade. In both views, you can view the average total grade for the course, download weekly online activity data, and manage chart options. To download weekly online activity data as a CSV file, click the Download CSV button. To change chart options, click the Options icon. You can view the data as a table instead of a graph or choose to display different shapes for different students and sections. Weekly online activity displays average page views and average course participation on a weekly graph. To compare a section or student to the course average, click the Add a Section or Student drop-down menu. To find a specific section or student, begin typing the section or student name. Then click the name of the section or student. Canvas automatically adjusts the graph to display the new data. To remove a student or section from the graph, click the Remove icon next to the student or section name. Hover over a point on the graph to view details about the data. To view more data for the week, click on the point for the week. You can view total page views, including how many students did or didn't view pages. You can also view total participations, including how many students participated or didn't participate. In the Students tab, you can view the number of page views and participations for each student. In the Resources tab, you can view the resource name, how many students viewed or participated in the resource, and the number of page views and participations for the resource. To message students who meet certain criteria, click the Message Students Who button. You can message students who viewed a resource, didn't view a resource, 
participated in a resource, or didn't participate in a resource. You can filter the student list by all resources or by a specific resource. Select a resource in the resource drop-down menu, then type a subject and message. When you are ready to send the message, click the Send button. Note that students will not be able to see other students included in the message. You can view a table summary of student page views and participations in your course and for all resources in your course. You can sort students by page views or participations, and you can sort resources by number of students, page views, or participation. To sort students or resources, click a column header to sort by descending or ascending. To view course grade analytics, click the weekly online activity drop-down menu and select course grade. Course grade data displays average grades for all sections in the course for assignments, discussions, and quizzes. You can view the average total grade for all students in the course. To add a section or student to compare to the course average, click the Add a Section, Student, or Assignment drop-down menu. To find a specific section or student, begin typing the section or student name. Click the section or student to add to the graph. Canvas automatically adjusts the graph to display the new data. To remove an item from the graph, click the Remove icon next to the student or section name. To view a specific assignment on the graph, search for and select an assignment from the Add a Section, Student, or Assignment drop-down menu. You can choose which assignment types to display on the graph. To hide assignments, discussions, or quizzes from the graph, click the checkbox next to the assignment type you want to hide. To view a student's grade summary for an assignment, click the corresponding point on the graph for a specific student. To view more details about assignment grades, click a corresponding point on the graph. You can view a distribution of student grades for all sections or for a specific section. You can also message students who meet certain criteria for the assignment. To send a message to students who meet certain criteria for all course assignments, click the Message Students Who button. You can message students who scored within a certain range, have missing submissions, or have late submissions. If you selected the Score Range option, enter the Score Range percentage. When you are ready to send the message, click the Send button. Note that students will not be able to see other students included in the message. You can view a table summary of student grades and participation dates. The table includes the student's name, total grade, percentage of on-time assignments, date of last participation, and date of last page view. To sort the summary table, click a column header. To view student analytics, click the name of a student. On the Course Grade tab, you can view the student's total course grade. The Course Grade graph displays the student's grade on all course assignments. To view more information about an assignment, click the corresponding point on the graph. On the Weekly Online Activity tab, you can view page view and participation data for the student. To view more information about online activity, click a point on the graph. On the Communication tab, you can view messages sent by the student and instructors in the course. To view more information about a specific communication, click the corresponding point on the graph. On any of the tabs, you can download a CSV file with student analytics. To download the CSV file, click the Download CSV button. To change chart display options, click the Options menu. You've now completed this overview video on new analytics. For additional information on this or any other topic about Canvas, please visit guides.canvaslms.com. You can also ask questions and engage with other Canvas users by visiting community.canvaslms.com. show you how you can find more information about these videos and guides that she talked about by going through the Canvas platform. And I'm going to go to my dashboard and show you where you can find this information. There is an abundance of resources out there. And I need to scroll down to resources, guides, and help. And then I go to search the Canvas guides. And this will give you different options. So there are Canvas fixes, basics, getting started, troubleshooting, etc. To find the videos, I clicked on video guide. And I scroll down to different types of users. So for instructors, this is where we found the new analytics overview. Um, as you can see, there is a video for uh, just about any subject within Canvas. And if there's not a video, there is definitely a Canvas guide. Um, Tony, do you have any other suggestions about how they can find information about Canvas? They always have YouTube videos 
for Canvas, and a lot of them are actually made by Canvas themselves. If you Google Canvas and whatever it is you're looking for, in this case, analytics, there will be a wealth of things that pop up. Now, you always want to check the dates. You always want to make sure that um, you're not getting a hold of something that was published in 2013. Our uh, ETS department does have a YouTube site, and we you know, keep that up to date and current with what's going on with Canvas. And those are uh, trainings that we have done similar to this one and the Canvas community guides. And that's what, uh, we had an example of that earlier, those articles we were clicking on, those are from the Canvas community and that is moderated by Canvas themselves. And they uh, do review the content in there and you know, produce official, uh, official you know, instructions and things of that nature for uh, anyone who needs it. Right, yeah, there's, a, there's just a ton of resources available out there to all of our teachers. One thing I do wanna mention, um, when we were doing research for this presentation, we did find some information about the participations. Um, there's some chatter out there, people having problems with the participations and new analytics actually matching what the students are doing. And Canvas is aware of the bug. They are working on a solution. So I just wanted to uh, let you know that the participations may not match and there are specific criteria that they have to meet to be a participation, like turn in an assignment, um, respond to a discussion, reply to an announcement, certain things like that. But many people around the country are reporting that participations isn't matching what their students are actually doing. So be careful whenever you're using that metric right now um, because there is a known issue with that. Okay, I think that's it for today, Tony. Is there anything else that you can think of we need to share? I can't think of anything else. And okay. uh, there's no questions. We'll go ahead and end here. All right, thank you for coming. If you're watching on Workplace, we will make sure to post the slide deck um, URL and the bit.ly there. If you have any questions, you can respond in Workplace or reach out to your ETS representative and we'd be happy to help.